yes. and I mean almost a fascist yeah. way of yeah. of accusing him of a lot of different yeah. things and there's a lot of ignorance yeah. that's also going on in the world they want to make him wrong they want to make him bad yeah. you know and he's just a human being that's trying to do the best that he can you know yeah. but they're assassinating his character and I'd right. like to just give him more time to try to find the answers that that could help this country you know well, and you know the sun will be in Leo during this T square so perhaps that will bring that back out in him yeah let's hope so yeah um, I think we should pray for him we absolutely him stop uh, you know uh, accusing him of yeah. things and start putting our prayers into an active place because we really do need leadership more now than than ever now how are these eclipses going to be affecting different places in the world. I understand that there's, you brought a map and they're going to sure. show it on the screen. Sure. Uh, why don't you explain well, some of that? Well, just like these maps work for individuals to find out where would be the best place to them to move for their career, or for their love life, or what have you, we cast these charts for like solstices and eclipses. Yeah. And you can actually see earthquake zones. I, I've got clients in Florida who every year they call me and they go, Mark, is the hurricane's going to hit the Atlantic coast or the Gulf coast this year? And you can actually see this really? going on. And in the, uh, the what I'm going to just call the T-square chart for August, uh, and I'll tell, for those who know this, it's called astrocartography is mm. kind of the, the yes. name that's well known by. Yeah. Uh, the Gulf of Mexico has been activated since back at spring equinox. Really? And when you see the same place being hit, spring equinox, summer solstice, the T-square, of which the Gulf of Mexico up to Chicago and even down to Peru and Chile. And so it isn't always explosions in the Gulf of Mexico yeah. or hurricanes, but in Chile and Peru, we just had that uh, murderer got caught. Yes. And in fact, the, um, you were asking about the solar eclipse on July 11th. That solar eclipse starts over by New Zealand and Fiji and ends up in Chile, Peru. Really? And so you will see under the path of the eclipse things in the news that are brought up to the surface. And so here was this murderer brought up to the murderer from Aruba, who, you know, the Dutch person, who got caught in Chile, Peru, uh, for another murder. So, which, so what we're looking at on this chart is basically sure. places that are going to be active in change. Sure. So the Calcutta side of India, or uh, like Myanmar, you know, former Burma uh, region, is also very hot. Uh, the New Zealand. In fact, if you went back and researched 84 years ago when Uranus was in Aries the last time, yeah. uh, New Zealand had humongous earthquakes. Mm -hmm. And so it spiraled around. And so I'm not out there predicting that, oh, New Zealand's going to have a big earthquake, but it is in a hot zone yeah. under this. And I actually, actually saw a documentary on that. Yeah. And it's, it and, is in a hot zone. And so it's come back again. And, but the thing about geological events is, gee, is it going to be this year or next year? In geological time, that's small potatoes, because Uranus is going to be in Aries for seven years. Somewhere in the next seven years, New Zealand is going to have either political upheavals or earthquakes or tsunamis. Or, and I'm not trying to predict doom and gloom here. I'm just saying this is very real stuff, and we see patterns in astrology. Yes. And these maps help show these patterns. Well, it's one of the things I'm looking at here on the map is that we don't have a lot of, of energy here on the West Coast going on. Well, the... the in, Yes, that's good there, <laughs> yeah. uh, but I will tell you, I've already peeked ahead at the fall equinox chart, and uh -huh. uh, uh, the West Coast is pretty highlighted this fall. Oh, really? Uh, and that would also include, like, Alaska, you know, because Alaska has volcanoes and earthquakes up there, too. Yeah. Uh, and then right down the West Coast. But the issue is, is it's hard to tell, is this going to be off the coast of Oregon, or is it going to be up in um, Alaska? You know that it's somewhere along the Pacific coast. You just, it's, it's a little hard to say, will Southern California get it this year or does Seattle get it this year? That's a tougher one to call. Yes, it is. I just think that was fascinating to be able to look at something like this as where these eclipses are going to be, you know, uh, active, you know, very active. We're looking at the, also the West Coast. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's very interesting, all the way yeah. down in Chile. Yeah. What about here? Um, this one right here. What islands are that? That would be is like that? the Fiji Islands. Mm. Uh, would be an active zone, okay. and on my uh, website, I always um, 
put that information up, usually on a quarterly level, so that, because I know it gets a little abstract for most people, but at least you can go to my website and read about it on a quarterly basis, so. Well, we're yeah. going to have your contact information up, Mark, so that people can call you, contact you on your website, and Great. they can sign up for, you know, your quarterly reports. And quarterly report, I've got the new and full moon reports that they can get through the email, so. Yeah. There's no shortage of ways to get the information, and for yeah. free. All, yeah. all that's free information, so. Okay. Well, I'm gonna take a moment out and thank our sponsors. Thank you. Yeah. And then I'll come back. Okay? All right. Um, I wanna thank uh, Westside Florist, that's on TV Highway in Aloha for mm -hmm. these beautiful flowers. And then we have Izzy's Restaurant on Broadway in Beaverton that supplies our crew, and that's wonderful. And so I wanna really thank you for for being on the show. Is there anything that, one more thing that you would like to say in closing about your overview of this time for us? My overview is that we're on the edge of an opportunity and while I understand that people can buy into the fear that is going around, yes. that if they just stop and breathe and remember that this is an opportunity right. to create the reality that you want to create in your life, yeah. and that if right now this summer you could start taking the baby steps to get where you're going, even if you don't know where you're going, that's right. Um, that you will be well ahead of everybody else in 2011 when this energy starts to get more grounded is how I would look at that. It's going to get more ground, I, I was going, hark. 2011 though, <laughs> this summer's still 20th. a little rough, but next, next year we're gonna start getting more grounded in bringing our higher vision into mundane application. Wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. Well, I want to um, thank you for being on the show again. It's good to see you. It's been a long time. I know it. I yeah. know it. Well, you're one of my favorite people. And we I'll just be... live on the other sides of town from each other. <laughs> I know. I know. Funny how that works sometimes. Well, I believe that there are no accidents. Yes. You came into my mind, and I thought this is yep. this is where I wanted to showcase you and what it is that you're talking about. You're a great teacher. Thank you. All your lectures are, are done on, on a wonderful level of understanding. I like the way mm. you're able to communicate as a teacher. And I think that there would be a whole bunch of people going, yay, Mark, All right. around that one. Hoo -ha. And I, I wish you well in going out further in the world with your career, and I know that, I know that you will. I can't just go sneak into the woods. Oh, I think hide. you need to sneak in. <laughs> I don't think you have to sneak, though. I think you need to I'm take some at least 10 days time out, out and yeah. go do some hiking. And we all need that. We all need to go to nature. Yes. We need to talk and um, relate to nature big yes, time. Yes, big time. Yeah, we I, need to I, listen. Yeah, I do know that there's a lot of prayers that are going into the golf yeah. around the world, and I yeah. totally agree with that. Yes. We're more powerful than we really know that we are. We are. Yeah. So uh, we'll have another show in, in the, the near future, and I'll Excellent. ask you back. And, thank you. All righty. And I want to thank the crew, and I'd like to think, uh, thank the audience for watching Create Your Own Reality, and I'd like you to remember uh, to create the life that you want, and also... Believe in miracles, they're real. See you soon. Thank you for watching Create Your Own Reality, a program about hope, inspiration, and encouragement. If you would like to be a member of our audience for future shows, please email us at createyourownreality at hotmail.com. We are grateful to these local businesses for their support in making this program possible. 